sponsored by EA. With October 31st not too far off, I want to remind you that I have an EA creator code. If you're planning to pre-order Dragon Age The Veilguard or pick up any previous Dragon Age games through the EA app, remember to apply my code UrbanBohemian at checkout. I get a small commission from the purchase, which helps support the channel. So let's find out what the enslaving of the mink is, because it looks like there are some people in cages. So we definitely need to fix that. But I do like that in true pulp fashion, we are sort of the hero here, reluctant as that may be. What luck! What a miracle! One moment I was rushing into the fetid tonsils of that horrible monster. The next, I was plummeting downwards to the jungle floor beyond its reach. Problem. I prayed I would land on something soft. Perhaps your head. But nothing, nothing could have prepared me for what was about to unfold. An epic saga. Oh! Power oh. and revolution. Oh! A struggle for freedom, the likes of which our world has never seen. And it happened like this. I love that each of them gets the intro. This is so great. to check because this is quite nice um let me see here uh currently on steam little orpheus is available for 13 dollars us um so yeah not bad uh when you know that when you get it you'll have nine episodes let me see do they have any more updates no um but secret mode is also the publishers that put out a little to the left uh lotl knot which we've had some fun with uh, let's see here. Still wakes the deep. Hmm, okay. I was like, did I pause you for too long? <clears throat> So we escaped the T-Rex at the end of episode one and now have landed in a jungle um, with this type of mushroom, the name of which I cannot remember. But sadly, this isn't Willy Wonka, so we can't like reach our hand in and get some custard. Oh! There was a little friendo in the foreground. Oh, there's a friendo in the background. There's friendos. Oh, there's people. Soylent green is people. Oh. <gasps> well, we're being watched. Let us hope they don't think I'm delicious too. Those strange, gentle monsters who towered above me. I could only guess they were the lost tribe of the Mienf, an earlier race of people. But why were they so fearful of those ancient gates that lay just beyond their village? And why did they seem to recognize me? Why? Uh, Chrysacon in chat asks if I have ever read the book that Soylent Green is an adaptation of, the name I cannot remember, but yes I have, and no it's not, and yes, they made some very distinct choices for the film. Oh, I like when they use, I like when they use the multiple layers, like, it's very nice. Those are, they are also much larger than I am. But at least now the ruins or the civilizations. No, a Kaksha general. Who was I to question such things? Trapped as I was deep underground. 
I was more curious, I must admit, about the location of Little Orpheus. Okay, this feels like a trap. Yep, this feels like a trap. Like in The Devil Wears Prada, when the twins are telling Emily, sorry, um, <clears throat> Andrea, that she can just take the book up instead of leaving it on the stairs. This is what that feels like. I should watch The Devil Wears Prada again. Oh, hello. We good? You talk of a great city, a mighty power. Yet your nymph squatted like savages in huts at its boundary. They did. And the answer to that mystery lay beyond my grasp. <gasps> Because it was a wonder, it truly was. Glowy ball. How do I get to it? Okay, so I can't get through that. Nope. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where the... Ah, okay, so I had to stand next to it at the right spot. And that opens the door. Ooh. Is there another T-Rex back here? All right. Columns. They're called columns. Uh, that is one of the Menk who... Oh, whoops. Agartha. I hope I may one day see it myself. Oh, General. If only you could. Unfortunately, as I shall explain, should you seek Agartha now, you wouldn't find it. Did it you... has been utterly destroyed. What? What happened to... Wait, what? We just got here. I realize we're telling this story in past tense, but that does not bode well for the end of this episode. It's also really quiet. Utterly destroyed? Utterly, General. A tragic loss. A convenient loss. I imagine archaeologists weeping as I tell you. But most importantly, before we continue, you must understand one crucial fact about its destruction. Which is? It wasn't my fault. <laughs> the most important thing of all wasn't my fault. As Shaggy said, it wasn't me. Oh, now the statues are doing like a praying thing in the background. Oh, here come the people in cages. I don't like this. We don't put people in cages. I guess though we do make the cages platforming, so okay. Oh yeah, we gotta save all these people. This is not cool. I do like the interactivity of the, um, like the reactiveness of the of the cages. Oh, 
No. Yay, I freed you, buddy. You're you're free, buddy. Go free with your nightcrawler ass hands. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> what the what? Those poor unfortunate minks trapped and kidnapped and dragged away only to return as vicious foot soldiers to some unknown tyrant. And yet, there was something familiar about the Stokova they were forced to wear on their heads, which I was sure were being used to control and enslave them. Amaya. In general, it curiously resembled the radio sets I used to tinker with as a child. Radio sets? It was very curious. It was very curious. It was extremely curious. So something or someone got here before us. Or we have sent, or we, Russia has sent things down here before us. And they've already radically messed up everything down here. <laughs> Oops, the bomb. Ah. Okay, so I remember our friend showed us that if we do this. Ooh, look. Oh, ooh, shiny, 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 shiny. Get down here, you Breath of the Wild puzzle ball. Shiny, 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 shiny. Also, you might be toxic or radioactive for all I know, so I'm not going to touch you. How do I... Why would you make a door that only opened one way? Do I gotta go solve another light ball puzzle? Okay, so I think we have another avoidance puzzle. Stealth time. As long as you run between them. There we go. Metropolis, powered by a glowing resin carved from the very earth? A glowing resin carved from the very earth. Do you see, General? <sighs> I fear you are about to enlighten me. Number 10 Downing Street's front door can only be opened from the inside. I did not realize that. But that makes sense. Because much like any good Generation X and younger, I don't want anyone showing up if I don't know they're coming. Okay, so they've been zapped by something. You put something on their heads and it turns them into mindless automatons. But we're not sure why. been drained by the impact, but whoever had stolen it and brought it here was no doubt planning to use the Agarten resin to charge up the atomic bomb, restoring the device to its full potential. What sort of man would come up with such a monstrously reckless scheme? Perhaps the type of man who has such limited understanding of atomic energy that he thinks an ancient metropolis can be powered by shiny marbles. Well... 
Hey Val, welcome on in. Antiquated Anachronism, thank you very much for the resub. I hope that you're doing well. Okay, so this, we're not supposed to touch this? Okay. Actually, let's go back over to the glowy ball so I can get my disco ball and say thank you for that resub. These are the glowy balls. Um, they appear to power strange things in this underground city that we found. I mean, we're technically all of it's underground because we're in the center where we're beneath the Earth's surface. Um, it's a long story. But thank you for the resub. So let's go see... Okay, we're not supposed to touch this, I assume. No, okay. Looks like a power symbol, though, when you get in the right spot. It's a little power symbol. Where's the Windows shutdown key or something? All right. Oh. I'm supposed to do something. Timed? I hope not. I'm so glad you're not timed. Oh! Okay, so now we can summon a little ball. <gasps> oh, look! Oh, cool! Oh, it's on its way. That is cool. And then we push the ball, which is probably radioactive. Makes the big open door, go big open door glowy. The big glowy door open. And traps us in this area. Okay. So if all they were gonna do is make more, hold on, those words. If all they were going to do is make more of the weird, I guess, enslaved or mind-controlled mank, then why were they in cages? Just, just put the helmets on them. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh. Oh, not friend. Not friend. Not friend. Can I hide behind the glowy ball? If I'm behind the glowy ball, can you see me? Only one way to find out. Apparently not. Okay. Okay, now the mechanisms are activating things other than doors. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Just do the dishes. 
issues, etc. Oh crap, you're timed. Okay. Um, but hey, Tanya, if you're if you're hearing, uh, but also uh, enjoy work. I mean, you know, as much as you can. I sure didn't. Crap on a cracker. Okay. Um, okay, so it's not so bad when you like you don't you don't like die forever, but you do get back to a um. You do get back to. Can you just do the thing? Oh, uh, you get back to a save point, so not bad. Run, 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 run. Hey, welcome on in, Raiders. Serious, hello. Uh, we are playing La Little Orpheus. No, don't. Hmm. All right. So we definitely don't fall off the thing, but we also, like, we can't climb. I was hoping we could climb the thing holding it, so no, we've got to. There we go. Nope. Again? Again! Um, inside, is that the one... So it's giving a bit of, like, especially this area here is giving a little bit of uh, little nightmares. But is inside the one with, uh, like, the little kid and the factory? Yeah, that was also, yeah. Um, I would say perhaps both, um, because Little Orpheus is the name of the bomb that was the power source for the radio for our rocket drill. But yes, probably also because he is in the underworld. Literally. Oh, nope, don't like it. Uh, what if I just decided to go up instead? What if I just, oh, all right. Fine. Um, so while as much as you might want to, you can't swing chains or vines. Um, but I need you to look the other way for just a minute, my friend. Bye! So it's got, like, good puzzle platforming action in that you don't have weapons. Um, you don't have an ability to harm anything. It's all... Platforming and stealth. And very... Aw, oh, crap. What the hoomst? What? No, 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 no. Well, now we know what's coming, so maybe I can do a little easier with the sequence. But you've got a lot of sequences like this that are run and jump and run and jump and run and slide and run and climb. Okay, so that might be a little Orpheus. But yes, they are. We are in the Savage Land. They are riding uh, Tyrant. Oh, come on. They're riding pterodactyls. Watch me do the sequence over and over again until I find the right spot to jump in. Oh yeah, the uh, the finale of dinosaurs was oof. Oh. 
Okay, the green white means we did something right. Okay, that's the next sequence. Ooh, these flowers. Or fronds. I am curious, Ivan Ivanovich. You talk and talk about this great subterranean city. Yet what you describe sounds strangely familiar. It does in some way bear an uncanny resemblance to the glorious architecture of Comrade Alexei Dushkin. Wouldn't you agree? Don't General. I have never heard of this great Tavarish, Dushkin, or his works. Interesting. Because you were photographed on the steps of his marvelous Visotka na Krasnich Varotach, shaking hands with the Glavni Constructor. That was the chief designer? The sweaty little fat man with the bad hearing? Mind your mouth, Ivan Ivanovich. And don't think you can distract me by slandering one of the great visionaries of our time. Without him, neither of us would be sitting here now. I must remember to thank him for that, General. Okay, now we're moving into unreliable narrator territory. Is Twitch having a time? Hold on, let me see. Am I, am I having a time? I have a few dropped frames. Twitch is probably going to tell me that it's having issues, but it always says it's unstable sorry um so we're now getting into unreliable narrator territory uh the interrogator is saying all the stuff you describe sounds really familiar and now i'm wondering um ivan ivanovich has been gone for three years after this mission is all of this just a big story that he's telling to explain his disappearance Because he didn't come back with any proof. And since we're still early in the story, we have no idea if he came back with little Orpheus or not. He was probably in Zawatneho, the same place they went at the end of the Shawshank Redemption. Okay, so we get this there. Oh, it powers the purple. Oh, but we have some friends over there looking for us. Okay, um, what happens if we turn the crank? Oh, we got a bridge. How do I get back up there? Oh, okay. Oh, crap. Well, I took too long. I looked a gift orb in the mouth. So this is the first time that we've encountered this, where you have to hurry. And what's interesting is you don't have a sprint button. So you just gotta go. Pardon me. Don't know where we're going, but we go into glowy hallways. Okay, more chambers, more cages. I don't know what's down there, but I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, is that the is that the ball? Oh, there's another ball. Okay. I think we're gonna have to follow the path of the ball. Oh, and oh, hold on. Those enslaved mink were trying to stop me. 
I was sure of that now. I find myself sympathizing with them, I must admit. No, General, then I have failed to win you over. Uh-huh. A point of agreement at last. Okay, so wait, what does this do? Oh, okay, so I've got to do... Okay, my goodness, all right. Oh, speaking... Okay, run, run, run. Run, 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 Do I have enough time to get the ball down the thing? Or do I also have to... Because I can't... Ooh, that was close. Okay, I was afraid I would have to do it twice. Um... Oh, there's our buddy. We don't want to get spotted by the light. Oh, now we have an entire... Oh, this is clever. Unfortunately, it's going pretty fast. Um, can you, can you slow down a little bit? Uh, a little bit? Thank you. Again, General, are you mocking me? That would be unprofessional, comrade. I will try harder to convince you then. It is, after all, a cautionary tale of unleashed tyranny. It is a cautionary tale of unleashed idiocy. Language. But please, do continue. Okay, so these friends aren't friends. What just happened? What is going on back there? Oh crap. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's completely fine. It actually now that's given me also a little bit of chance of Sinar, which is nice too. Okay, there's another glowy ball thing. Oh, it's coming for me. Oh no. You're riding the thing? That's not fair. Also, what's with the sinister laughing? That is not appreciated. I want, I, I mean, I do want to ride the tram. I always love riding the tram. Oh, now I'm, wait, now I'm also on a tram. I get to ride the tram. Adiana, hello, welcome on in. I stepped from the cable car onto a plateau at the center of the city where a palace, a vast acropolis stood was reminded of Chelyabinsk Sorik. May I ask how you know of Chelyabinsk Sorik? My Aunt Masha was a traveling tinker who married a beef investigator from Zlatoust. She told me of a secret but wonderful city in the West, an edifice of sheer power, humbly serving the will and needs of the people. Yes, unfortunately, that story didn't end so well. No, that's oh. what Auntie Marsha told me. <laughs> and perhaps that is why I was also reminded of it. Because the moment I touched the floor in that place, I could tell something was very, very wrong. So it sounds like either he's misremembering and he's kind of confusing other stories with what happened to him, or he's just flat out lying. Okay, you know what? Go away. Go, go away now. Go away. That's right. Oh, and we're up. And the whole city felt as if it was shuddering. I 
could only imagine what I would find at the heart of the vast temple. If it isn't a giant glowing marble, I'm going to be very disappointed. Okay, we didn't have to move this marble. Store just already. Okay, we didn't have to move the marble. Door's already open. See, that's the funny part now, Chrysacon, is I don't know. Um, I, I, you know. This does sound extraordinarily a fantastical. Sphere that overshadowed all of the others. I caught glimpses through the twisted architecture. And it was then I saw him. Him? The thief? The enslaver, the tyrant, sucking the power from this wondrous city as he drained the very lifeblood of the ancient civilization. And oh, he's draining something. The atomic embrace of little Orpheus, who with a song in my heart, I raced onwards to stop him. This is amazing. Oh. Okay, so apparently I didn't race. Oh, that's not good. Look, I have definitely raced to a hole in my 20s and 30s and 40. You know what? Never mind. This this press conference is over. Okay, we're doing the hide thing again. So, yeah, we have friends who are looking out for us. Okay, you need to go elsewhere. Actually, I'm a little curious what happens if you catch us. Dang it. Yeah, what happens if you... Oh. Okay, that was less exciting than I thought it was going to be. I was hoping for like a little... I mean, a spotlight? Oh no. I've got like 15 lights on me right now. How is that a problem? Okay, so I assume I need to get up there to flick the switch. We are very strong. Like body body strength is is good for a cosmonaut. Sorry, Terranaut. Okay, there go with the glowy ball. Oh. Oh, we're going to have to do the thing again where we the glowy ball is what we hide behind. Okay, so that powers this, which does what? I mean, it's almost November. You should definitely, you know, get in the habit of checking your ball. Okay, that did that. And you're all summarily distracted. All of you. The game was like, okay, yeah, all you had to do was get back. You didn't have to do all that again. I'm glad this part wasn't timed. Oh, okay. I like how even though the platforms are where you're supposed to be, they still wobble a bit. Like, you might not be in the right spot. Drained of its power, the magical heart of the city cracked. 
that sent shockwaves through the world around me. A true monster general, willing to bring down the mountain itself upon Agartha and bury it forever in his ruthless scheme. I could not save that wondrous place, General, to my shame and regret. Oh! But I resolved myself to avenge the men, to recapture little Orvius, and to bring that tyrant to justice. Uh, oh crap. Time to go. No time to lose. Gotta get out of here. They also, with these sequences, they kind of make it very, you know, like you're not trying to do interact and sneak and jump. You are just getting your timing right. You might have a slide. Yeah, like this. Will our plucky yet careless hero fall forever through those unknown skies? Will he discover the identity of the brutal thief commanding the army of the Menkth? What chance does he have of ever returning to his beloved homeland? How long can the general's patience last? All of these questions and more will definitely be answered in the next exciting episode of Little Obvious. That was episode two. Okay, that's 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 delightful. And I believe we'll take a little break after this uh, to hunt some cats, but that is amazing and uh, will be fun to hop into until we finish all the episodes. Incredible. Love it. I really like the way they're doing this as well, where it is it is chopped up into episodes, and you can, if you want, just go right through them. Um, so that was episode two. Episode three of Whales and Worms, and we can go back through the same episode again to find unlockable, to find basically collectibles and unlock things. So episode three would be of Whales and Worms, uh, but I'm going to head back to... Okay, so you have to be in, okay, you have to be in an episode to do the thing. So let's go ahead and hop back out to this and, um, okay, we haven't found anything yet, but there are 66 collectibles and several outfits to find. One looks like a T-Rex head, so we definitely have to collect some orbs for that. Um, and yeah, we'll hop on out. Okay. Yes, it is one of those games that says, oh, you're quitting? Well, then I guess you're quitting then. You quitter. <laughs>